Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. Look at that, classic intro. Gotta keep shaking things up around here. I don't want you getting bored, I don't want you getting used to something. So look at that, it's the classic intro, the one you all love, smash like. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another round of the Master Mode Let's Play. So, in today's episode, we have some mechanical bosses to do. In case you missed the last episode, let me sit down and tell you a tale. We did, in fact, take on and get defeated by the twins. And here's what we were using. We were using the superior Amarok. And I will say, I think that maybe I could have won the fight. If I was a little bit better at dodging, I mean, it's a tale as old as time. If I was just a little bit better... Maybe I'd have won, but for real, I actually think I, I might have won. But, when the episode went out, I saw a lot of you were like, can we just see the, the Captain America shield versus the boss because it bounces around a good amount? We can do it. So you may notice that my Captain America shield looks amazing, right? Big shout out to Under Nitty Gaming. I think they want to go for Eternity Gaming, but they spelt it with a U. Anyway, this dude made the texture pack in the first 20 minutes of the video going out. So we now have a more movie-like Captain America shield. And apparently, it was even based off of the colors from the real shield. How cool is that, right? We've got a pretty banging community here. So I'm going to leave a link to this down below. Super simple to install. And because he was the first one, I'll also leave a link to his channel as well. Because, you know, we got to support the Couch Gang. Yeah, welcome back. I'm really excited for today's episode. Um, mechanical bosses are a, a good bit of fun, I think. I think they're, they're fun to record. Um, it just it helps with the episode flow as well. I will admit, I was waiting for that cat to move out the way. All right, Critter. All free cushions. You know, this is why I've got to do the classic intro. Because I've got to remember that I now have an item in the game that references it. And I need to keep bringing it back, otherwise people are going to find it in five years and be like, who and what? Like, what's a what's an enthusiast? Don't worry, I'll tell you, right at the start of the video. Alright, so we did get a comment from, um, from one of the members, a diamond pizza, profile picture like Jesus, I don't know if that's relevant. He said to remind me that there are flasks for melee. And, uh, and I will be honest, I actually did forget that you can make flasks for, um, for melee weapons. Like, for real, I actually genuinely forgot. I need to put this jungle pile on back. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna make a flask and imbue our weapon and make it even better. And then we'll take on a, a mechanical boss and it's gonna be great. So, maybe you got the chance to see the, uh, the mage episode yesterday where I spoke about right at the very start, once again, having the, the deep voice glitch. I want to clarify because people always say, oh, can you um, can you pitch shift it to make it sound normal? So you can. You actually can. You can pitch it and then it sounds just like me, right? Maybe a little bit higher pitched, but that's all right. I think I think maybe I could do with that anyway because right now I do sound like I, uh, I smoke 40 a day, uh, which I don't. <laughs> Is that allowed? Can I say that? I'm sure it's fine. Um, so I can pitch it, but... It also stretches the audio in weird ways, so it basically throws the whole video off of uh, off of sync. Now, the issue is, it's the software that comes with the mix amp for my microphone. So I think I'm just going to buy a new mix amp because I love this mix amp. It looks really retro. I might just keep it on my desk, but it causes me so many issues. I feel like flinging it out of the window. And that's not a lie. Like, I, I could fling this out the window right now. And if I could get a new one today, I would happily do it. Because it annoys me that bad. Um, so anyway, let's go back home. A lot of you were pointing out as well. I forgot the pylon. There you go. This is going to be a great way to, to teleport home. Because I, I still forgot to, to get the magic mirror. Let me slap this bad boy down. Let me slap that down. Let me head on home. Yeah, a lot of you pointed out that... um. That I finally made the upgrade. Yeah, I did. I made the lightning boots. And then just stopped there and didn't make the rest. Uh, what is it that you need for the rest of it? Um, I thought it was just that. Why am I getting confused? <laughs> okay, let me put this in here. Oh, it's ice skates. <laughs> you can see where I was kind of going with that. Flurry boots, ice skates. Makes a lot of sense. 
Um, I'm going to find it really hard to, to stay on topic today, I think. I can already sense it. I feel like my mind is, is going a little bit faster today. I did, I did manage to have a cup of coffee before recording this. Menacing. Wow. Nice. And a, and a cup of coffee does help. I'm not trying to say it's making me hyperactive, but it's definitely like... There are a lot of things I want to talk about, and it's all jumbling together. This is cool. Like, I'm glad we got this. So, to make these flasks, I'm pretty sure you need... Um, bottles of water or empty bottles. I don't know. Let me check because I actually genuinely can't remember All right, it's gonna be water bottles So you need some water bottles and then you need something to um, imbue it with So I think what we should do is we should go for um for cursed flames Because that's probably the uh, the best for damage right like that feels that feels appropriate and then we'll we'll put it on our Captain America's shield and, uh, and I think it's just going to make it loads better. And then we'll do we'll do Skeletron Prime. So I'm going to grab some water bottles. And then we're going to head to the corruption over here. I, I keep forgetting the magic mirror. Do you see what I'm talking about? Where I'm just like, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be jumbled today. Look, I've got too many things on the mind. Let me go and grab. I've probably got recall potions by the dozen. Or just some kind of alternative. I must have. There's no way that I don't. Somebody actually did. <laughs> this is mad. I love you lot. You're so, you're so observant. Um, <laughs> I said we do have recall. Great. I said, oh, um, somebody pointed out that we got a uh, an ice mirror in a previous episode. Ten minutes after the episode goes live, somebody goes, don't worry, James. Found the video. Found the time code. This is the ice mirror. Are you mad? <laughs> how do you remember that? And how are you so quick? I'm very impressed. Uh, did I put it away or something? I don't even know. Should we, we should just use recall. We, sh we should use recall because it, it doesn't matter too much. All right, let's go to the um, the corruption anyway and, uh, and go get some stuff. I'm thinking down here is probably all corrupted now, I can imagine. Like, I feel like the spreading must have worked. But then again, this is really strange, right? Because the hallowed is here. This is the hallowed. So the corruption must have cut through here. But um, the corruption's spreading real quick here. So I keep thinking the corruption's this way. No, I'm going to, yeah, I am going to go over here. And we're going to go see if um, if it's spread. And we can actually we can actually use it right. Because I think, I think we might be able to. Oh, man. What a, what a, what a day. What a day. To be fair, the day is, is still fairly new for me. Recording this uh, pretty early in the day. But I haven't really done too much other than... Um, work on something for, uh, for Chippy Gaming. I keep forgetting the password to that channel, right? Which is not true, it's symbolic. But I keep forgetting I have it. Which is really strange because it's obviously the largest channel that I have. But some days I just, I completely forget that I have a, a different channel. And I have to go, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have that channel. There's videos to make for it. So I'm working on a, a new Terraria life hacks that should hopefully be up might be up tonight, or it might be up tomorrow, depending on how things go. It'll be up over the weekend, either way. Uh, which I'm really excited about, because I'd never done this before, but at the end of the last life hacks, I basically asked people, do you have any life hacks? And we got some ones that, yeah, we'd covered on uh, on previous episodes, and that's to be expected, right? You know, I, I've been doing life hacks for um, for five years, so you can't imagine everybody's watched everything. You know, it's, it's too much to ask, but... People actually gave me some legitimately solid Terraria life hacks that I had no clue about. So I'm really excited to talk about them because it's one of those things where, like, I can see myself using them going forward. And uh, and when I feel like that, that's when I know, all right, this is a good time. All right, so this hasn't spread the way I wanted it to. The thing is, I want those, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they look like man eaters in the, in the corruption. And they give you the, uh, the cursed flames. I basically, do you think this is corruption? I basically want those, so we can't just go to, like, an underground desert, can we? We have to go to, like, the actual part of the the underground corruption that does it, right? I don't know if I'm making any sense. <laughs> Probably not. Right, so, this is our corruption. It's, it's mashed in here. So we need to go down through the jungle... And, uh, and off to the right at the bottom. Right. So it goes like this. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go there now. 
and then uh, and then we can get the stuff that we wanted. It was driving me wild. Like I was looking at so many different spots in the world. Uh, Caleb, you're going to need to add two deaths because uh, I'm doing them off camera. Um, all right, that yeah, that actually makes sense now. <laughs> I was so annoyed. I was like, "Come on, corruption! Actually, where are you at?" But corruption really has uh, has claimed this whole area. It's not looking too good. All right, we're coming up to um, to the corruption part. So I'm kind of hoping this is um, this is kind of everything that I want, and I think it might be. Yeah, this this looks like the spot. So we need some um, we need some of those clingers. We need those cursed flames, and we're gonna start imbuing stuff. I also need um, souls of night because I remember there was um, there was one of the recipes we couldn't make. I think it was we couldn't make the destroyer or um, or Skeletron Prime because we didn't have the the souls of night. I really thought that was gonna be a mimic then. A band of regen. Nah, I'm all right. I think I'll be fine. I was kind of hoping it might be a magic mirror a little bit so that I don't have to worry about potions again. I don't know. Okay, this... Do you ever find that corruption... Uh, sorry, um, granite is a little bit underwhelming compared to, to what it used to be. I really do kind of miss... Um, I miss the old granite biomes, do you know, with um, granite houses and such. They probably still exist in the game. It's just that I don't think I've, I've ever found one since 1.4 come out or maybe if i have it's only been the one same with uh with marble houses i asked people if um if you can still get marble houses and i'm pretty sure people are like yeah you can still get marble houses but i haven't seen one and i miss them i miss houses a little bit in general it's almost a critique of 1.4 in a small way but the thing is i like the trade-off where um where you find random chests throughout the world I feel like it feels more like um, classic Terraria in that sense, but yeah, I do miss I do miss the old structures a little bit. I don't miss the uh, the old old structures though, like the ones in 1.1. Like looking back, are, are pretty awful. Even in 1.2, like the the stuff that they added in 1.3 was uh, was top notch. Here we go. Here's a clinger. I finally remembered the name, by the way. <laughs> okay. Go on, get Frostburn to death. Oh my god, it's got so much health, please. Alright, so we got we got four Curse Flames. We're probably going to need like a good bit more than that. So I'm going to linger around for a little bit. So, I've just seen that the item Spaghetti has worked its way into our Void Bag, right? Now, I've never seen the item Spaghetti in Terraria. And I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to say that the tooltip is a reference to um to Eminem, right? You know? Vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. We're gonna find out. How lame was that? Um <laughs> Where is our where is our void bag? Because I actually can't Oh there you go. It's here. Alright, let's see. Al dente. Oh that's that's a little bit underwhelming. Correct me Italians, but is al dente where you basically cook the pasta so that it's still slightly chewy. Is that what al dente means? Something like that? Not too sure. I'm just coming down from this disappointment. I can't believe it. They missed a, they missed an iconic reference. So has anybody seen the uh, the leaks for um for Far Cry 6? Jesus. Ubisoft cannot help themselves leaking their own game, right? I don't know if they actually leaked their own game. I'm only kidding. But I don't think I know of a Ubisoft game that hasn't been leaked. Oh my god. However, I am I'm excited from the poster because the poster shows a uh, a picture of the actor that played um, Gustavo Fring in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. And if you know, you know what a great actor, right? Top notch. And if he's leading the game, that would be amazing i would love that a lot i i do have a secret method for far cry i'm going to reveal it to you now so the trick with far cry is to not buy them wait a couple of years and buy them in sale for two pounds and that <laughs> it's a solid investment for two quid you have an hour of goofing around you enjoy the engine and what it can do and then you put it down <laughs> for real, that is my actual um, life hack for... Um... <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm being very negative. Um, but I actually really do like Far Cry games. But 
they're a good goof for the money. If you've got a tight budget, just buy old Far Cry games. Because you're going to have a good time, for real. Like, they're, they're good games. They're fun games. Uh, let me clear up this inventory real quick. I had to make another chest for blocks. So let me dump away some of this stuff. Um, and then we should be good. Oh, look at that. They've um, they've resprited it. Looks, looks cool. Yeah, it looks nice. I won't lie. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a, a Cadbury's chocolate egg. <laughs> it, like, even down to the patterns. I don't know how your chocolate eggs look during Easter in America or wherever you're from. Um, but in Britain, that's what a Cadbury's chocolate egg looks like. And I'll fight anybody that says otherwise. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on today. Right. Souls of Light. Souls of Night. We got some bony boys, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then we'll need some um, some iron bars. So, thank you for that, lead bars. Uh, let's try one of these flasks real quick. So, these have 20 minutes of duration. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, don't, I can't remember the last time I ever used one. I really can't. Um, yeah, so that that's cool. Right, what are we doing? We're making we're making the thing. Sorry, I'm getting well sidetracked today. I'm I'm on such a, a tangent mode. Um, okay, regen, swiftness, iron skin. Name me a more iconic trio. It can't be done. It can't. All right, I think we're I think we're ready for this. We're gonna go do it in the area that we did it yesterday, just because it, it makes sense. Now we don't have a shiny boy, but what we do have is a flaming weapon, and I think this is gonna look even more interesting than the than the alternative. All right, so what do we what do we know about Skeletron Prime? All we know is that in 1.4 they changed him so that he would uh, spin a little bit faster. So all you've got to make sure is that you avoid his spinning, and then you should be fine. I forget, does this work with the yo-yos? Oh my god, it does. So you can double debuff a dude? Wow. That is actually kind of cool. Um, Yeah, kind of iconic. I literally forgot that that was a thing. Oh god. So I think with this fight, the, the damage is still not going to be great. Now, usually when I would fight Skeletron Prime, I would uh, I would just solo the head. Like, I wouldn't really put effort into um, into everything else. But I think because we've got a weapon that um, that does bounce around a little bit, it just makes sense to, to attack the arms a little bit more. It's just one of those things, though, where it's, like, completely um, unneeded, right? We, we don't really need to, to be doing it. I feel like... Um, this could be a really easy fight, though, to um, to mess up because I uh, don't deal enough damage before nighttime. So I need to stay more focused. I am a little bit paranoid that that spider's doing all the damage. I think I might get rid of the spider. I think, I, yeah, because I know sometimes a lot of people go, well, you got to be careful because of immunity frames and all that. I don't know how it works with the spider. I know some, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? When I talk about immunity frames, it's all guesswork because I don't actually know. <laughs> All right, so I uh, I choked <laughs> right in the very end. So I'm gonna I'm gonna basically get another one and just get straight back into it again because I don't know I just proper choked at the end. That fight went on for um, for quite some time. I think when I redo it, what I'm gonna do is uh, is just use the uh, the yo-yo. Like the yo-yo is is pretty legit. Oh no, am I? Oh no, wait. Why can't I make? All oh, right, it's the uh, the water bottles. I was so confused. I was like, why can't I make an iron skin? I was like, have I really run out of um, stuff already? Yeah, the fight went on so long. Uh, I think I just went brain dead. <laughs> I think I think that's what happened. So I'm just going to quickly refight it. And, um, and hopefully I should cut to the winning part of the fight. Which would be very nice. Alright, so we're, uh, we're into round two. It's going pretty well. So, I did want to say something real quick. I noticed that um, a lot of you came forward after I said that uh, editing, you know, wasn't my uh, my favorite thing when making videos. Uh, a lot of you came forward and were like, well, don't worry. You know, I'll happily edit your videos. 
Uh, I just wanted to say uh, I'm not looking for an editor right now, but I really appreciate that uh, you're all so kind and, uh, and you all offered your time. I think one day I will hire an editor, but I think it will be for uh, a specific purpose. Like, I don't think it will necessarily be for uh, for a Let's Play, but there are projects in mind that, um, that I would like to, to have an editor for one day. But I've got to look into it. It seems like there's a lot of stuff to, to learn about. Like, you need to learn about who's the right person to hire, how do you interview, um, you know, how do you set up a contract, how are we setting up tax with that. There's loads of stuff that, uh, that I need to look into. Like, how much do you even pay an editor? I don't have a clue. <laughs> but you've definitely got to pay them. All right, that's important. Um, so, yeah, maybe maybe one day. I'm excited to, to go down that route um, in the future, maybe. I still don't know if I'm going to make a Sims channel. I'm still I'm still internally debating it. I don't want to rush into it. But then again, I kind of want to rush into it and just do it for fun. I mean, it's always for fun, but I, I kind of want to just not really overthink it. I think maybe that would have been a better fit for, uh, for an editor. Because you're looking at long gameplay that I want condensed down to, to something a lot shorter. Whereas I like how I like how poorly edited these are. <laughs> it's just a few jump cuts and occasionally a little bit of singing. That's right. A little bit of a sing along with my lazy editing. How great is that? So um so today. I uh, Fridays. Oh. Kind of the worst for me. I I love a good Friday like in the um the idea of one is, is amazing. You know, final day of the week, weekend coming up. Love that. But Fridays have become the shopping day where we do the weekly shop. And I'm just going to be honest with you, I just hate it. <laughs> I really hate going to the shops at the minute. It's such a pain, right? So you've got to deal with everything. There's just so much to deal with when you go to the shops. Oh my God. I can just keep going on and on about this, but... You know, I don't want to bring too many negative vibes to the whole thing. But just people at shops, keep your distance. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to get into. If you shop at Tesco, which is where I shop, all right? Big up Tesco gang. Because it, it's it's pretty local to me. I don't have any bias to other um, British shops. Here you go, Americans. Here's a, here's a few names of shops in England, if you're curious. If an English person ever goes, Oh, you mate, you got those scones? You can tell them where you bought them from, right? Tesco, Asda, Morrison's, or some of the other ones. Aldi. Oh my god. Let me tell you about shopping at Aldi. Wait, is it Aldi or Lidl? I'm going to tell you about one of them. Anyway, just real quick. People at Tesco just don't know personal space. <laughs> they need to stop. Yeah, so Aldi or Lidl. I don't know which one it is. Here's a little bit of... And I'm pretty sure they have these in other parts of the world, right? And I'm so certain of it. But this is the shop where... <laughs> I can't even explain it. It infuriates me that bad. I hate everything they do in that shop. So the first thing they do is they put the price of items above the item, right? Now in Britain, the standard is if you were to buy a Kit Kat, you look slightly below the Kit Kat and there's the price. 69 pence. What a fantastic deal. In Aldi, they purposely put it above so that the item that you see below, the price tag you see below is for the item that's below it. And they always stack um, high to low. So you'll look below the Kit Kat and go, wow, 30p? That's amazing. But really, it's for the off-brand that's below it, right? A Smix Mac. <laughs> that's the off-brand Kit Kat. So that's the first thing they do that really just kind of gets under my skin. The second thing is their till system works like this. The item gets scanned and it gets pushed along the till, but they don't have an end to the till. So there's no area for the items to accumulate so that you can begin the bagging process. Because I don't know about you, but if I'm doing a big shop, right, the person scanning it, I'm bagging it at the end. I give the card. We do the transaction. It's how shops are meant to be. But in Aldi, no, 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 right? You have to have the item scanned. You place them in the trolley again. You then go to the back of the shop, take them out of the trolley, put them on the shelf, and organize your own bags there. What are you doing? Like, it, it drives me mad. I don't know why it infuriates me so bad, but do you need to see, like, rubbish designs? That whole sh shop is a, is a rubbish design. 
Although, this is what I want to talk about. This made my day, right? Let me tell you how, I, how my day was made. So, I'm a big fan of the YouTube channel, MKBHD. Marquez Brownlee, right? I want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Anyway, I've been watching um, Marquez for years. I'm talking nine years. you got to remember, my YouTube channel's... 10 years old soon. So like when I say I've been watching somebody for nine years, you better believe it. Yeah, I've been watching Marquez since uh, since he was like in college or slightly before that even. Anyway, I'm a big fan. He's a tech reviewer. If you don't know, you definitely know. And I was walking around yesterday or the other day and I was thinking like Marquez's quality is so amazing, um, mainly because he films in that beautiful giant. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Anyway, uh, let me wrap this up quick. He films in this beautiful studio. It's massive. But I always, like, I, well, I started to wonder, like, what technology does he ever use at his home? Because unlike many YouTubers, he doesn't record at home. So he doesn't talk about that kind of stuff. And I thought it to myself and I thought, yeah, right. Interesting little thought. Obviously, never expecting to know the answer because I can't reach out to Marquez and be like, yeah, mate, what, what tech do you use at your house? Because obviously, we don't know each other. And I'm a very small channel in comparison to his. Anyway, he just so happened to be doing a Reddit AMA last night. And I was like, right, I'm going to ask my question because I am curious. Didn't expect a response. And he responded. And I was like, hey, that's ace. And then lots of people in the thread were like, Oh, it, oh my god, it's Chippy. What the hell? I didn't expect people to, to notice me there, but that was cool. He said, um, Google Home Max. Good choice. He recommended a smart oven, and he said a PlayStation 4 Pro, right? So I got my answer, and, uh, and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, that does it for today's episode. Thank you, as always, to the members that are rolling by on screen right now. I apologize to the two of you who I missed yesterday. Um, <laughs> I should have checked, but uh, I, I was a day behind with that. So, um, so welcome. Thank you for becoming um, couch enthusiasts. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your name in the credits of the video. Um, and thank you for supporting me. Okay, give the video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please do anyway. Um, and subscribe if you are new, maybe. Right, see you in the next one, guys, uh, which will be tomorrow. Peace.